Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salt, and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. This is episode... 7? Pretty sure this is episode 7. And yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. Before we get into today's episode, remember, there is a Discord server link down below. Also, right above my all my social media, too, if you want to follow me there. But yeah, Discord server for Pokemon content creators. So if you make Pokemon content, or if you're thinking about making Pokemon content, join the Discord server down below so we can talk. I don't know. I really want to plug it because I want to get that Discord server. Like, I want to get people in that Discord server because it could be fun. We could build a community together. We can talk, share stuff, uh, partner up on stuff, collabs, anything. We can do so much in there. Um, but yeah, come check it out. Come hang out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in there. But let's get into today's episode. We won't really do a team recap because nothing's really changed. We brought Rido back on last episode because um, Trigger died the episode before. We caught a Ninetales named Enchanted last episode. And we also caught a Poliwag named Bubbled. Name of Bubbled, right? Not Bubbles. I think I named Double Bubbled. But yeah, this is our team. We got rattled, we got plated, we got slacked, we got smashed, we got coded as an HM slave, and we got torched. Let's start off the episode with getting, first off, the bike. We're going to go grab this bike so we can be booting it from place to place. Um, and yeah. You know, it's pretty sad that we're already further, I think. I think we're already further in this season than we were in last season. But then again, it is episode 7, and that's where we were pretty much at last time, right? I, no, but I had recorded 4. Recorded 3 or 4. And, like, this is where, like, pretty much last season ended. The only thing that I did more in last season is I battled every single trainer that we passed. This one, we haven't really needed to do that, but we are going to go battle a couple more trainers now. I don't even remember what bike, bike I took. Did I get Rack Smash already? Yep. Let's teach this to our nice HM slave down here, Coded. Yeah. Picked up the bike, right? Yes. Let's register it. So, like I said, we could be going around and speed sound. All right, first things that I wanted to do was I wanted to come and train up Rattled. I want to get Rattled to become a nice and powerful Gyarados. Before we continue with the episode, I think that's the best strat right now. And after this episode, I am going to get lunch. I'm hungry. All right, we're going to use... No, we're not going to use Tackle. What am I doing? It. We're gonna swap you out for slacking. No. We're gonna swap you out for Mewtwo. And you are going to use Scratch on Pidgey. See, levels just skyrocketed now. Now we're on par. So, we're good. Meditate, you raise your special attack. Oh, your attack rose. Alright, confusion on Hitmonlee. And scratch on Pidgey. I would actually not be opposed to catching a Pidgey. I like Pidgeot. Phew! Sorry about that sneeze. Um, I moved as far away from my mic as I could. But yeah. I would not be opposed to catching a Pidgeot. I really like Pidgeot. Uh, it's probably my... F With all the Pokemon in this thing, it's probably my favorite flying type Pokemon up to this point. My favorite flying... Maybe not. It's my favorite regional bird up to this point. But like, next series, it won't be. Because we're moving up one generation. We're moving up to generation four next series. I think I shared this. I don't know if this was in the last recordings. But um, one thing I asked you guys, one of the questions of the day is, what do you think the game is for my next series? Um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure I shared this already. If I didn't, well then, oh well. Um, and I'm sharing it now. Next series will feature Pokemon Soul Silver. 
It's going to be po Pokemon Soul Silver. I don't know if I'm going to be doing all 18 badges or not. As um as I've never really done Kanto before in Soul Silver. So maybe it might be cool to do it for the first time here with you guys. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, and it's going to be somewhat of a new Nuzlocke type. So this is a Nuzlocke uh, type I thought I had created. Um, I came up with it not knowing that there was something similar already out there. But it is similar. It's not exactly the same. Um, so like, yeah. You're going to get a video towards the end of this. There's going to be a video that will come out stating like exactly what it is. It's going to reveal. It's going to be like the reveal video. Or like what our next season, uh, what our next series is going to be. And it's also going to kind of state um, like I'm going to go over the rules in it and stuff. And try to explain it to the best that I can. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all the rules down right now. I just have to figure out how to word them all. And yeah. I already have my oh no bueno no bueno no bueno oh thank god you attacked him try attack to end the mantine and soda pop on you but yeah i already have the uh the layouts done for it my thumbnail layout though is not done for it i gotta finish that up and uh the rules are pretty much set I haven't randomized ROM yet because that takes two seconds. Um, but yeah, it is still going to be a randomizer. Uh, it is not an extreme randomizer, obviously. Like, I think I think there's enough different from the other series of it to do it. Like, pretty much the only thing that was the same it was the name. And it does involve how you catch Pokemon... The high catch Pokemon is kind of similar, but like there's also a lot more rules to it. Um, I find it really original and really cool, and it ups the difficulty a lot, especially if you were to lose a Mon uh, throughout the series that uh, affects the Mon. Uh, it affects it quite a bit too. Um, so I might even do like maybe a 10% level booster just to kind of heighten the levels again, but 10% doesn't really do much, so maybe a 20%. i am not too sure yet, but then again... It is my first time doing it. So maybe as my first time doing it, I'm going to keep the levels the same. But then my second time doing it, I might boost it like 10 or 20 or 30 levels. Okay, the magic, magic card? Bean? No. Of course not. Yo, this is, the, this is a really bad idea in Nuzlocke, but I'm going to do it. Our team is good. We got a Mewtwo. I'm going to do this. Because this is four battles back to back. No healing in between, so... I'm gonna do it. All right. Um, Slade slacked just in case he has a ground type move. Because I do want to train up my um, Armaldo too. Right attack. You're gone. Right. No. I lived. Ooh. And now you harden. Thanks. All right. What do you have? An Oranberry? Yeah, okay. Oran's nothing. Fear Swipes. Oh, I gotta stop using Fear Swipes. And I have plus two, so this one... This is not gonna kill you. Right? This won't kill. Of course not. Poison Sink. Don't get the poison. Thank God. Alright. We're so close to our Gyarados, guys. One more level, barely. I thought we were going to get it right there. I was going to be so pumped. Rattled. He's going to send in his Mantine, then we're going to go out into our Mewtwo. This one battle should get us our final XP to getting Mewtwo. Oh, not getting Mewtwo. To getting Gyarados. We already have Mewtwo. I think a series I would like to do soon is like one where I randomize evolutions. Do evolutions by same typing, but randomize the evolutions kind of thing. That would be really cool. Randomize them by same typing to try to keep like the team balance. Cause like I don't wanna I don't wanna have like a psychic fire or water, but they're all state they're all base stages and then they evolve all into like dark types. 
that would kind of suck. Like then, then I just have a team full of dark types. I've been grinding up so much on my team, and then it ends up just all being dark types. And there's no not to say that it could happen, can happen because like one psychic type could evolve into like a psychic dark type didn't exist in this generation. I don't think but, like a water could evolve into a water psychic type type of thing, or water dark type, and then that dark type to a completely dark type. So it still could happen, but. We got ourselves a Gyarados, boys. We got rattled the Gyarados. Coming in hot. And he's going to learn Bite or Twister. I think it's Bite. Yeah, he learns Bite first. Yo, now let's see if he can learn Hydro Pump. Oh, wait. We have to wait till all these battles are done. But now he can take on some of these battles himself now. Probably. Is he a Physical or a Special Attacker? I need to check that. Readily. Doesn't really matter here. Bite's the better move because tackle's resisted. I don't think bite's resisted, is it? I got a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit, boys. That's not greatest, but he's barely doing anything to us, and I don't think he has a grass type move. He has ingrain though. How much does he heal back? Does he heal back everything we're doing to him? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. We getting these flinches off, boys. Imagine a serene grace. Oh, yeah. We got to check out his ability. You have an Oran Berry. Are you kidding me? Why does everybody have an Oran Berry? Jeez. Okay. So, it's not color change. That's one thing that we can note. Um, I'm very curious to know. Actually, I could check it in battle. What is Gyarados' ability going to be? And I could also check out his stats. Um, summary. Synchronize. Not bad. If anybody tries to status him, he gets stat they get status back. Um, Lucky Egg. And he is a physical attacker. So Bite ain't doing anything. That means water isn't doing anything either. There's no point teaching him Hydro Pump. They'll teach him Surf later, but like... That means his flying typing is going to be really good here. Man, you suck in Gen 3 then. So maybe grabbing... Oh no, because Poliwag too. Poliwag evolves into a, a fighting, uh, a physical, uh, a physical beast too. So water would be rendered useless. I think Poliwrath is physical at least. What's with all these physical guys? Maybe we could catch a Mudkip. Ooh, yeah, Rattled, you're swapping out here. If he has Arena Trap, that's not good. Thank God. Does he want for what? Thundershock? Thunder Wave. Why would you go for Thunder Wave? Electric types can be powered. Right? I think when it comes down to synchronize, though, it doesn't really matter. That'll go to 21. That means it's time to train up our Maldo. And then after all, Mar Oh, speaking of the Mon that I was just talking about. Actually, did I ever say it out loud? I was thinking about it in my head. I was thinking about finding a Mudkip would be really cool. I'd be really down for a Swampert. That'd be one Pokemon that would for sure take Gyarados' spot on the team. If I find a starter, it's coming on the team, essentially. Depending on the starter, I would say. But like most starters, if I find it, it's coming on the team. I absolutely love starters. Starters are also really good mons. Yeah. Right, you're gone. Next up, we got a Lapras. Ooh. Just gonna keep you in. Like, if we find a fire type, Baryon is gone. I'm sorry. If we find a, a starter fire type, for sure. Like, I'd be so down for, like, a Marsh Stomp uh, to find, like, a Mudkip and a Torchic. Even base stages. I'll swap them out. Because, first off, base stages with the Lucky Egg, they'll evolve probably in one level. Anyone that we catch right now. 
Body slam. Why would you put me to sleep and then body slam me to try to get the para? Make no sense. That was a waste. I don't really know what Miss does, to be honest. Doesn't it prevent her from getting status? Alright, there should only be one more trainer after this gal. Then we could keep on moving on. I could give Armaldo the lucky egg so we could train him up. Because Armaldo is really cool because Armaldo has Serene Grace here. So that's really sick. I love how the grandma is the best one in the family. Serene Grace could be really cool. I don't know if he actually has any moves that benefit from Serene Grace. But either way, Armaldo is just a cool mon in general. Ooh, a Rapidash. I could probably stay in. Actually, I should have went for Tackle. We got the flinch. Didn't make a difference whether I used Tackle or Bite. There was barely any difference. Tackle. Even a crit won't kill. Actually, if we had missed and he got a crit. Strange danger. Let's heal up. Do I need to heal up, squad? You know what? Let's just let's head back to the Pokemon Center and the Mart because I want to grab some. Uh, I want to grab some healing items. I wasn't sure if I battled them. Ooh, apparently I sucked with the bike. I need to get better at uh, navigating with the bike. Do 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 do. I'm so used to playing with the D-pad though. Because, like, on the DS, you play with the D-pad. And then all, even on the, uh, um, the Switch. Actually, you know what? I mentioned Soul Silver in this, right? Uh, but I want to grab your guys' opinion. Uh, this will pretty much be the question of the day. Because I don't think I asked one. Uh, question of the day. Should I do Soul Silver for my next one? And then you Nuzlocke type. Or would you rather see a Pokemon, um... Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee playthrough. I have both of them. And I never played Let's Go Eevee. Never really played it. And I mean, I could. I'd be down. Also, one idea I had would be to do a Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu electric, uh, mono electric Nuzlocke. So I think that could be cool. Or I could even do a mono chain lock. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, speaking of starters from before. I forgot to give Armaldo the lucky egg. Either way, it wouldn't have really mattered here. Really? You're missing you're missing tackles here. Where it matters most. Ooh. Yeah, lower my defense. Thanks. But yeah, let me know down below in the comment section down below. What, what would you rather see? A soul link with a, a ver with my own variation of a Nuzlocke uh, challenge. Um, one that's kind of loosely based off another. Even though I made this myself before I even saw this series. And it, like the series didn't even make me change any rules. It made me think about how I want to catch the Pokemon a bit. But like the rules really didn't change because I was already... In debate with this beforehand and I still kind of am in debate with it right now that's the only one that I haven't finalized yet the only kind of rule I haven't finalized is that one uh, about the catching mons and stuff but um yeah oh my god that did so much damage Okay, who's resisting this? You're not resisting it, but you should be fine. Or does Aerodactyl just sweep me here? A bite? Okay. Your bite's not physical yet. No way. 
I was like, I swear to God, if he can, if he flinches me again, sweet. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Hey, we get a new encounter coming up. We get a couple new encounters coming up. Bag. Nope, not bag. Actually, do I need to heal anyone? You can use a heal. I don't want to have to go back to the Pokemon Center yet. Item, take. Oh, I must have clicked give. Switch. Item, give. Lucky egg. Alright. Now I battle you. Oh, we actually have coupon. Am I going to go to KFC or am I going to go McDonald's? Because I have McDonald's coupons. Wait, do I have McDonald's coupons? No, I think they expired. Like, do we, do I even have any of the coupons left? Oh, no, I'd have to see. Then again, if I go to KFC, it's KFC slash Taco Bell, and I could get two of the $5 boxes. So I could get a Taco Bell $5 box, and I could get a KFC $5 box. I think they're like $5 or $10 or whatever. I think they're 5 And I get a drink. Two tacos or two pieces of chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Or I get a box. I get a box of, from Taco Bell. And then a burger combo. A chicken burger combo. Ooh, hold up. Gotcha. Use. Armaldo. We ain't losing Armaldo. Not happening. Alright. What do we got in here? Give me some power. Give me some power. Give me some power. Speaking of a starter. Mm, I don't know if you're a starter that's worth it though. Water gun. Literally the one starter I did not want to see. Oh Jesus. Scratch won't kill it, will it? Ooh, Pursuit. It will kill if we get a crit. We need to train our Maldo, so we are going to battle these trainers. Like I said, we aren't battling every trainer, but we're battling most trainers. Uh, I think that's okay. And either way, we're pretty on par with levels right now, so we could be battling all trainers again. Tackle, you're gonna do nothing. Scratch is gonna do what? Maybe 50? Not even 50? Oh, not this. Don't sand attack me again. Don't do it. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the last one, right? Because that's just our luck. Yup! I needed one to kill. You're neutral. Oh my god! Apparently I'm missing the last two. No way! Hit, 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 hit. You suck, Plated! Plated, why you gotta do this to me? Why you gotta be like this? I thought I bought like 20 super potions. Apparently I only bought 14. Scratch. Kill, 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 kill! Jesus, Armaldo! Armaldo? Hey, you've been sand attacked twice, not three times. Watch him hit now. Nope! Hey, seriously? I'm getting so tired of sand attacks and stuff. Sand attack, minimize, sand attack, minimize, sand attack, minimize. Thank you. Jeez. You're almost at 21. Thank God. I'm although a sick and I do want, really want him on the team. But at the same time, I'm like, eh. He has no stab moves right now. Zero stab moves right now. And I don't even know when he gets one. I've looked this up already before, but you know what? 
You're switching out. You're slacking. Or Maldo. Thirty-seven is when he learns his first stab type move, which is ancient power. He doesn't really have that many great moves. Doesn't have any great moves, essentially. There's nobody else in the box I really want to use instead of him. Like if I caught that Trico, that could have been a big difference. If I find a TM for a rock type move, that could be a big difference too. But at the same time, I'm like, hmm. Now it really depends on what's coming up in these encounters. If we find a powerful encounter, then like, like if we find an electric type, he's gone. But a good electric type, like, not plus or mining, essentially. If it's plus or mining, then he ain't joining the squad. They ain't joining the squad. I'm only gonna catch them to make sure I don't have to catch them again. Okay, Metacham, I think I saw. Is that what I saw, Metatron? Yeah. So I made the proper switch. Or a flying type. I could really I'm really down for a flying type on the team. Sound like a weird it sounded like a digitalized drum there. <laughs> or if you want oh that's another thing for the question of the day the question of the day was soul silver a soul silver series of a nuzlocke variant of my own or like a let's go pikachu or let's go eevee series right also let me know if you choose let's go pikachu or eevee let me know what you want me to see me do do you want me to see, see me do just a let's play a nuzlocke a different Nuzlocke variant. Let me know what you would like to see. We're like, yo, dude, you should totally do Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. But, yo, you know what would be even better? If you did a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee series with me. That's another option. That is another option. Like, a series we could do on that would be, like, a Rival Lock. Definitely could do a Rival Lock on there. Because Rival Lock would be a lot easier on there because... Um, I'm not the greatest with like, cause a lot of rival locks, uh, if it's on a game, the only game that I could do is switch. Cause I don't have a 3DS capture card. And like, also you could get a 3DS emulator, but the thing with those is like, you can't directly trade on those without doing like a weird thing. There's like ways, but I don't know how to do any of those ways. I didn't see what was coming out. So I'm just going to stay in, uh, Earth Ring. Okay. I don't think your strength can kill me in one shot. Uh, like, I don't really know how to do trades on that. And I don't really know how to edit save files to, like, copy and paste Pokemon and stuff. But, yeah. But if you were totally be down to do that, hit me up. Hit me in the DMs on Twitter. Hit me with a follow. I'll follow back. Hit me in the DMs. Hit me in the DMs on Instagram or on anything. Or in the comment section, be like, yo, I'm totally down. Or hit me up in the disc. You go... You go, you join the Discord server, and you can hit me up in the Discord server, or you can DM me through Discord. The DMs are open to everyone and anyone. Houndower. Go for a mighty scratch. My phone just rang. Who was... Sending me a message, Call of Duty is Scratch. Hound Hour. Now that is still a Pokemon I want. I would love to be able to pick up Hound Hour back on the team. Uh, gives us a dark to take some psychic type hits, like if we ever go against a Mewtwo. I would love to get my Doomy back. His name would be Doomed, not Doomy. But yeah. You know how I was saying before, Trico wasn't the least Pokemon that I wanted to see? Like, the Pokemon I wanted to see the least? It, I was right. It's this one. 
I'm sorry, Chikorita, you're just not that great. As you get a crit on my plated. Wow, thanks. Yawn him, put him to sleep, and then capture him. Uh, like I said, I don't know what I want to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to bring it on the team or not. It really depends on what the next encounters are. Reflect. I still don't think you can eat a try attack from this guy. Let's send in a great ball, see what that does. Alright, poison powder, poison powder, okay. You're asleep now. And now I can just toss a Pokeball. Send it. One, two, three, and caught. Chikorita. What am I going to name Chikorita? You're the Leaf Pokemon. It waves his leaf around to keep foes at bay. However, a sweet fragrance also wafts from the leaf, creating a friendly atmosphere that becomes the, the batteries. Fragrance also wraps. Uh, a sweet fragrance. Um, we are going to name you slightly... You know what? I think this will fit. Sweeted isn't a thing, but sweet tinned is. Slightly sweetened. Also, slightly sweetened is essentially the name for my girlfriend. Um, but slightly sweetened is a little weird, so generally I just call her slightly sweet. But um, yeah. See, now why couldn't I get that? I got a stupid Chikorita when that thing was sitting there. I'm going to swap out just in case I can't run away with Armaldo. And since Mewtwo's out here, there's no point running away. I'm just going to hit him with count Confusion, knock him out, and some XP, and keep going. And the second I get out, I'm going to remember to swap and put Vigoroth back in front. Get Vigoroth up to level 25. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get everybody up to 25. Now, item, take, item, give, super potion them. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, bag. Your proposal them for now, because we do have battle the second we leave here, and also I'm going to give him a poison berry. Oh, yo, we are at 33. I'm actually just gonna wrap it up right here in the cave. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I did not realize we were at 33 minutes in the episode already. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy the episode, please hit that like button. It means a lot. Uh, comment down below the answer to the question of the day. Would you rather see me do a Soul Link variant Nuzlocke of my own? Um, or would you rather see a Let's Go Pikachu or EV series uh, where you guys can supply the Nuzlocke type? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, um, why did I just restart that entire speech? <laughs> I guess I'm just used to it at this point. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, please subscribe to stay up to date for whenever I post a video. But that's going to be all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay salty.